Welcome to Neon Polytechnic. My name is Mr. Tan Yao Chong, and I'm a lecturer from School of Engineering, Diploma in Electronic and Computer Engineering. I would like to share with you some information of my course, EC for short. What is so good about this course is that it puts together two very important areas of engineering. Electronics, which has become part of our day-to-day -day lives, and computer, where the future opportunities are limitless. Both these fields are enabling factors in today's digital economy. Nian Poly's N44 course is one of the most established diploma here in Singapore. We also have strong links to the industry, as well as overseas universities. In ECE, students will learn emerging skills in robotics, server and cloud computing, Internet of Things, data analytics and design thinking for the new digital industry. You may also have the opportunity to be involved in community projects or smart robots development. Experiential learning is the key teaching pedagogy in ECE. For our curriculum in the first year, you will learn some fundamental modules in engineering, followed by the foundation modules in electrical and electronic engineering. In years 2 and 3, you will cover advanced electronic and computer engineering modules. This will enable you to deepen your knowledge and skills in these two areas. At the same time, you may choose one of the two options to pursue and fulfill your personal interest. Now, I will share with you the two interesting options in EC. For robotics and communication option, you will learn more about how intelligent devices and circuit communicates. This allows you to create intelligent robots and smart systems. As for the computer network option, you will learn how to plan, design, and install secure networks for enterprises' communication needs. Furthermore, in year 3, you will select either to embark on a 6-month internship or work on a final year project. Regardless of the path, you'll be given opportunity to apply what you have learned in the classroom to solve a real-world problem. Internship placements are offered by companies such as Singtel and M1, Fujitsu, ASTAR, PUB, ST Engineering and many other companies. We have here a testimonial by our own EC graduate. For those who opted for final year project or FYP, you will develop either in-house, industry link or community link projects. Now let me share with you how you can develop a community link project for the FYP. Applying the principle in service learning and design thinking, students will first interact with the elderly of the community partners to understand and empathize with their needs. In this case, the students decided to construct a memory game project for the elderly to help reduce early onsets of dementia. Let's look into the development steps. Firstly, use a software called Ego to design the schematic of the memory game. Next, send this schematic out to the external vendor for fabrication. The printed circuit board or PCB would typically be ready in a week. When the completed PCBs have arrived, you can gather all the necessary electronic components and solder onto the PCBs. Combining all the completed PCBs together, we are now ready to do functional tests. The completed project was tested by our community partner, the intended user to try out the game. We will gather their feedback for further improvement or possible enhancement to the project. This is in line with a complete design thinking process. With the knowledge and skills you acquire in the ECE course, you will be able to be part of the design and application team in real-world project developments. For instance, 
during the recent outbreak of COVID-19. Our team developed a healthcare assistive robot, also called HERO, to be used in Sing Health polyclinics. The objectives of HERO is to help in frontline infection control. The robot can monitor human temperature, detect face masks, usher hospital visitors, and provide disinfection in the environmental space. Let me share with you how your learning in EC equips the necessary skill to work on this HERO project. To enable temperature and face mask detections, various sensors and camera has been constructed. This is the electronic portion. Facial recognition, AI or deep learning, and disinfectant dispensing will require strong computer programming skills, whereas data analytic and cloud data storage will need cloud computing and network skills. Having seen the projects our students had done, you may wonder, how do we develop our students? If you join our course, you will see that we aim to train you to be competent not only on the subject matter, but also to learn independently, something very much needed in the VUCA world. In other words, we prepare you for the future. One of the approaches we used in learning is experiential learning. You may ask, why experiential learning, since the course is already very much hands-on? Consider this, just because it is hands-on, does not mean it is minds on. Simply put, if you do without thinking, would you be able to learn deeply? So how to engage students' minds? This is what we do. First, we let them experience it. Then, we get them to think about what they observe. This is when some may struggle to make sense of what they see. Then the lecturers can come in now to facilitate the students in finding the answer and making conclusion themselves. Based on what they have found, they will plan and apply the learning on new situation. This completes the experiential learning cycle and the learning will continue beyond their diploma in the same manner as what we term as lifelong learning. Here is a typical lesson our students will go through. Okay, so you are now going to do your first C program. Like I have mentioned earlier on, in experiential learning, you are going to do the hands-on and engage the experiences. Okay, during the time you may find observe something um, that you need to think about. Alright, so we help you to construct your understanding. You may need to use Google to find out more about some of the things. Alright? So, are you now okay to proceed? Any question? Alright? If not, please proceed. I come to you in a while. Yes, one of them. 
I hope this video gives you an overall view of what our students will experience in electronic and computer engineering. Please speak with our lecturers if you would like to know more about our course. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.